the real battlefront, the real battle that we must wage together today is not between Muslims and non-Muslims. It is between moderates of all the faith traditions against the extremists of all the faith traditions. We must not let the extremists, whatever their faith, whatever their political persuasion, hijack the discourse and hijack the media. That only fuels greater extremism. It is a dangerous, destructive cycle, and we must break it. How? By creating a coalition of moderates from all of the faith traditions to combat the extremists. The danger of religious extremism can be, even though it's not necessarily violent, to get back to the archbishop's definition, when it becomes exclusivist, in which it basically says, not only is my faith right, but your faith is absolutely wrong, and not only is my faith right, but my faith position within my faith is right, and so another Muslim who disagrees with me is wrong, then you're moving, you're, very, you're in a very dangerous position here because you're bordering on what I would call a theology of hate. That kind of mentality can easily be used by some, and it has been used by people like Osama bin Laden, to legitimate military action at a certain point. You can easily slip over the line once you're into that realm of, of what I would call a theology of hate. And we see that with elements of the Christian right, the Jewish right, and with elements of the Muslim right. But in every crisis, Richard, there's an opportunity. And the challenge that we have together as faith leaders, as opinion leaders, as um, think tanks, is how do we deploy ourselves together in a formula that will capitalize on these opportunities within the window of time that we have to do it so that we can leverage the voice of the moderates and, and, and address not only the causes that have fueled extremism but enable the moderates to actually, as I said earlier, wage this war against the extremists.